Hey guys, I'm back today and I wanted to take a few minutes to go ahead and review the KonMari book or the KonMari method. Um, I'll go ahead and link the book below in case you haven't read it. I'm sure you have though because it's got a huge cult following. So one of my friends recommended this book to me for the first time, um, I want to say back in September of last year, so 2015 September. And I didn't think much of it. I said you know, She told me that she read it and that she redid her whole house, she organized everything, and that she um, got rid of a lot of things in her house. So I said, awesome, good for you, and then kind of filed it away in the back of my head. And then all of a sudden, once she told me, I started realizing and seeing it a lot more on YouTube. Then a couple of my subscribers, you guys, told me that I should be, um, suggested that I should read that book. And one of the reasons I guess I wasn't reading it is because my husband and I, uh, I've said this before, we're pretty organized and I'm very good at, uh, or I thought I was very good before I read the book, at getting rid of things. If I'm not using something, I'm very quick to give it away, sell it, donate it, whatever I need to do to get it out of my life because I don't like things sitting around and I just feel like... Um, I have this belief that things that you buy but you don't use um, like sit around and kind of curse you almost because you're just kind of like letting them be and wasting their their life basically instead of using them so that's why I've always been kind of good at like getting things away um, even if I just give them away donate them bags I sell things of value but I don't like things sitting around I feel bad so and the other thing is that Clutter drives me insane. I don't do well with cluttered surroundings. Um, so I thought, you know, why do I need to read this book? I've already got it all under control. And my husband's pretty organized too. So I'm like, I don't need to read this. But then it kept coming up. I kept seeing it. And I, um, you guys know I'm a believer in the law of attraction. If something keeps coming up enough times in my face, I'm very quick to be like, okay, this is not a coincidence. Somebody wants me to read this book. I need to read this book. So I went ahead and I read it, uh, or actually I read it, but I listened to the audiobook and it was uh, 4 hours and 50 minutes and I, I went like straight through. I literally could not like stop listening to it and it was awesome. I mean, I honestly thought going in that there's nothing new I'm going to learn, but while like 20 minutes in it I was already literally sitting in my closet cleaning things out while I was listening to it and um, my husband and I and my whole family spent the last entire weekend my husband took Friday off um, the boys wanted to, it was spring break and the boys wanted to go to NASA again so we went to NASA came back and went right at it top to bottom like cleaned out the house there's still a few rooms left like the office this room uh, we have a lot of like paperwork and things that we file away that we could possibly um, scan and get rid of the, the actual papers and we need to still go through our books um, in the back there. But we did like I would say 80% of the house. The garage is the last one that we're going to touch because that's a disaster zone too. Um, I guess compared to others not so much in our subdivision because we're probably one of the only homes in our whole entire subdivision that actually parks our cars inside the garage. Um, everybody else uh, parks them outside because they say their garages are full of stuff and uh, we have a three car garage so one area is full of stuff and then um, just the stuff that we need to be in the garage and then we park our other two our cars in the other two garage. So, Compared to others, I see that we're still doing pretty good, but we could always do better. So basically, um, that's my review of it, that I went in thinking that there's nothing new that I can learn. I'm actually, um, I put this book as my first uh, sort of book club for my meetup, my local Houston meetup. So we're going to be discussing this next week, but I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. If you haven't done so, you need to read this book. It just... It gives you that extra perspective, that extra push. Um, even somebody like me that was going into it thinking, I know it all and there's nothing possibly that this book could teach me to you. I came away with a life-changing perspective and a lot of her beliefs are in line with my own beliefs of the law of attraction. And I just, I love her. Um, my husband didn't read the entire book, but when he came home that first day that I read it, I was so excited about it. I pretty much told him like everything. And at night we Chromecasted some YouTube videos 
uh, with her actual she did a speech con Marie herself at Google and a couple other speeches of her so he could kind of get like the gist of her um, like what she's all about and so he was on board and he's like yes we need to get rid of he had a lot of things from before like we got married that he was kind of hanging on to um, like knickknacks that he had collected while traveling um, things that like CDs or DVDs I and mean, things that kind of are obsolete now like who watches DVD movies we watch everything online on like Netflix or live streaming and stuff so a lot of like old things like that he just got rid of it a flash after he heard what she had to say so um, we did the kitchen we did all the closets pantries the boys rooms I mean it's been an amazing journey so I highly recommend it I had if you guys remember a few months ago I cleaned out thoroughly cleaned out my closet and got rid of a whole bunch of stuff but after hearing her audiobook I cleaned it out again took a lot of the stuff that I had to a local resale shop and made $300 this Saturday so even though they didn't take everything that I had they took about 50% of the stuff I would say um, a lot of stuff they said that they weren't taking like fall winter season so I'm gonna try again but just from doing a second round of cleanup after hearing what she had to do I made $300 this Saturday so um, you know I honestly went in thinking there's nothing new I was gonna learn and she just blew me away she's amazing so if you guys haven't already this is a book that I highly recommend if I had read this before I did my 10 life-changing books this would have definitely made that list so I'll link it below go ahead and um, read the book or listen to the audiobook um, but I highly 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 recommend it even if you think that you're already pretty organized there's something that you can learn in there um, I also went ahead and gave my son my oldest one a quick like recap of, of what she's all about and he was able to do his room on his own with my five-year-old we sat him down and went through each of his belongings my husband and I and made sure that he was keeping things that were kind of in line with her philosophy so it's been an amazing journey i highly recommend it so that's my quick review and i'll catch you guys later bye